I'm out here at my farm again today working on the fence and I thought I'd just share with you uh, some of the tools that'll make you know make this really easy um, first off clearly is the levels and these are magnetic levels I think they're Bostitch brand picking up the lows magnetic levels and I put put them at 90 degree offsets on the pipe so that I can now check my top levels there and you see that one level and that one is level and then in addition I've got two line levels this one here and that one there. Now you probably only need one, but the reason I use two is just in case there is some stretch or some sag in the wire in between posts. Um, it gives me kind of a double check, but you can see this one here is level, and this one here is level. So that's just, you know, real quick, these little line levels, I think they cost three bucks for a pack of two. That's, for the, that's why I have two is because it came in a pack of two, not because I really wanted two originally. Uh, and these levels here, I want to say they were maybe 10 or 15 bucks I can't remember these are good heavy-duty levels and, and what I mean the great thing about them is that they're magnetic um, when I was out here a few weeks ago and I was setting posts on the other end I had a 2 by 4 10 foot long that I was you know trying to balance put one end on here and then one end on top of the other post and then I had just my regular carpenters level sitting on top and that was a complete pain in the butt trying to level the post with a 2 by trying to balance a 2 by 4 on top two posts while keeping the posts vertically level so this makes a world of difference, makes it a lot faster. Um, I've been actually actually working for, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes, and I've already got the first two posts set. I'll show you the other little thing I had to do. What I did in preparation, I just went through, and at every post hole, I just went ahead and laid out a bag of concrete and a post. Going down, I've got a few more bags and posts in the truck. Um, see, these are the post holes that guy helped me dig out a couple months ago, or a couple weeks ago, whatever. They, they filled back in a lot, which is what I expected, and that's okay, because they weren't deep enough to begin with anyway. So I'm having to clean them back out, but show you my little bridge I made here I parked the truck on the side of the road and the ditch was full of water about six foot wide so there was no way I was going to be able to jump it with a bag of quick creed on my shoulder every time or wade through it so just took four of my posts and just laid them down here just so I can you know walk over to the truck so you know make do with what you got I guess as I need to use these posts and my bridge will get a little bit smaller but I'm back to putting uh, a full bag of quick creed on every post so it's 80 bags of concrete on each post um, I think that's the right thing to do. I just had an older gentleman stop and talk to me for a while, and he reaffirmed what the other neighbors have warned me, that if it ain't tied down, somebody's probably going to steal it. That's just the way it goes out here, I guess. A lot of crackheads and druggies down the road or something that they'll they'll pick anything they can and, you know, just sell it for scrap or whatever. Wh whatever they do with it, they're probably, uh, you know, compulsive thieves and can't stop themselves by this point. So I do not like thieves. I don't appreciate thieves one bit. Uh, tell all the neighbors, you know, if you see a damn thief on my property, just go ahead and shoot him. You've got my permission. Uh, I've been robbed before, and it sucks. And I do not, do not appreciate it. I don't ever want it to happen again. So, he said I was doing the right thing. He said, putting them two and a half feet deep in concrete. He said that hopefully they won't steal them. He said, you never know. They might wiggle it loose and pull it out of the concrete just, just to do it. But anyway, like I said, I just want to share this with you. I've got uh, ten posts and ten bags today, so I'm going to try to get those put in, and that'll, yeah. It'll be a bite anyway. It'll be a start. Uh, I got out here and right off the bat went to try to pull my wire tight because it had sagged a little bit and snapped it. Of course, and then I had to go and rerun the wire and restring everything. That set me back. But anyway, I'm getting it done. Just thought I'd share with you, like I said, share with you the simple tools, um, mostly the leveling tools. And then, of course, I've got just my, my post hole diggers here. And then I've got, got a shovel laying over yonder to help widen out the hole if needed. And then, of course, I'm a shady to chop weeds out of the way. So. Nothing real fancy, nothing real special. Just wanted to share it with you. Little by little, I'm making progress. Today is the uh, definitely the best day I've had out here working as far as getting a lot done and a little bit of time. It sure helps to have those post holes pre-dug. I can just get it knocked right out. I got 10 posts set today, probably two hours of actual work. Uh, I kept getting stopped for phone calls and talking to people that are driving by and whatnot. But you can see my, my fence, if we look down the line here, pretty straight for the most part um, I mean you're gonna have those little errors because the way I'm doing this stretching this wire it's real light wire and I've got you know if you go down the other way on the long run of it it's got a lot of weeds and stuff getting a hold of it so I'm just constantly back and forth trying to chop it chop weeds out of the way and keep it loose and hanging and you know it still just sags so much under its own weight um, but anyway I got for the most part it's straight and for the most part it's level somehow here those little uh, line levels I was using I guess aren't real accurate or real responsive and so this post here and that next one 
both got a little low on me. And you, you can't really tell just walking. You know, if you're just walking along, you'd never know. Um, but looking at over the, the grand scheme of things, you might be able to see it. And I don't know if you guys look. You know, I'm sitting here looking down the post right now. And, uh, you know, they're mostly pretty level. What's interesting is, you know, I'm trying to run the post level. And so I'm finding out how unlevel the ground is. Because when you just look at the, the big picture, you think the ground's pretty level. But it's actually pretty up and down, clearly, with the way they excavated out this ditch. They just heaped it all up on my side of the road. So that's always nice. So I guess at some point I'll have to come back out here with a skid loader and excavator of my own and kind of clean it up and correct it. But anyway, just wanted to kind of wrap up on today, you know, a little bit of progress that I made. So I'm feeling, feeling pretty good. I'm going to go talk to one of the neighbors and maybe pick some tangerines off the tree and then head home and see the wife.